Hello there, this is Erin from Queen of Ants and this is an assembly video for our Royale Lobby acrylic ant nests. These nests come in three sizes, small, medium and large and I'm going to be using the large size for the assembly video today. If you do have the small or medium nest, uh, it's basically the same assembly, you may just have a few less parts. Um, only one clip here and perhaps a few less rubbers and a few less bolts uh, for the nest but essentially exactly the same. Um, so we're going to do the the bulk of the nest first starting with the big base piece. When you first get your nest all of your pieces will have a film over them um, so you just need to gently peel that off both sides. It's usually paper um, and just lay out all your pieces like I've done so that you know what you've got. Starting with your big white base piece, you'll notice that one end has holes, the other end has tabs. Doesn't matter which way you have it up, it's even, both sides. Um, but just have the tabs to the back away from you and the whole bit towards you. Pop that down on the floor and the next bit you want to grab is the long acrylic pieces. These make up the sides of your outworld section. The piece you want to start with is the piece that has the hole and this is the, the hole that the ants will use to move from your nest to your outworld section. So grab that piece and make sure that the hole is facing down at the bottom and to your right. Clip that into the middle of your outworld and flip it up to the side so you can access the bottom. You should see the two tabs poking out underneath and you'll use a um, elastic, gently stretch it over the tabs and that will secure it in place nicely. Once you've done that, grab the other long section and you'll see there are three cutouts along the bottom. These gently fit over the bottom plate at the back and again secure with two elastic tabs. Next we're going to move on to the end pieces. These two pieces are both the same and what you want to make sure is that the portholes are at the bottom. So gently lift this up and clip it over the end and you'll have four tabs to secure with elastics. If you've got the small or medium sized nest, you may only have three. Make sure this hole is towards the bottom. And do the same with the other end. Four elastics. And that's your basic outworld completed. We're gonna move on to the nest section now. So you've got this porthole here to your right. You'll have two white acrylic nest pieces. One will have a full line of acrylic here at the end where the sponge goes and one will have gaps. You want to put the one that is fully enclosed here at the bottom. Just gently sit it there and it should line up with the holes on the base plate. Next, take your next white piece and this has gaps. This allows the ants to access the hydration area. Sit that on top. Next, we're going to do the hydration area. You'll have a piece of acrylic that looks like this. And it just sits upright into the gaps that you can see in the floor of the nest. Once you've popped that there, you can gently push this long piece of mesh up next to it. It should line up and then you'll place your sponge in behind that to sandwich it together. Your sponge has two angles cut out here, which when it's expanded will, will allow you to put water into that area to soak it up. Once you've got that sitting there, you can take your thick, clear acrylic nest, nest piece and place that gently over top with the hydration part in the groove. And then take your top set plate section. Just make sure there's not too much dust on this or any debris so that you get a nice clear view of your ants in their nest. Gently sit that on top and line up 
these grooves here with your hydration acrylic piece grooves. And that's the general construction of your nest. We're gonna bolt it together now, but there's a couple of things to keep in mind when you're bolting it together. The two front corner bolts have feet to attach on the underside to keep your ant nest steady. And then if you take your uh, top acrylic shield and line it up, you'll see these two holes here actually have clips to hold this shield in place. So we're gonna go ahead and put those clips on first so we don't miss them. So these ones work with the two of your longest bolts. So take the two longest ones and each have two little pieces of acrylic. Pop those two pieces of acrylic onto the bolt and then thread it through the appropriate holes. If you've got the small or medium, uh, sorry, the small nest, you will only have one clip. The medium should also have two clips the same as this. You've also got two special locking nuts. They're different to the, the majority of the nuts you have. And they are, they are specifically for this section here because you'll be spinning the tabs to take on and off your shield. Once these nuts are done up, they won't undo with all the spinning. So you may need a small set of pliers to hold them in place to actually get them done up fully. Once we've done that, I just like to put two uh, of the second shortest nuts in these back holes, just to hold everything steady. Flip it up so you can put a nut on the back here to secure it. At this stage, we don't wanna do our nuts up tightly. Just have them, them nipped there so that your nest is held together, but not too tight. Now the reason for that is we're going to put our red tabs in now. The beauty of this design nest is that it can be expanded as your colony grows by removing these tabs as they need extra space. But they can be a little bit tricky to get in initially. And I like to leave the nest a bit loose because if you're having trouble getting them in, you can quickly just wiggle the nest pieces just to line them up exactly where you need them to help you get these tabs in. That one's being a bit tricky to get in. So you can just gently move your nest around to try to line it up exactly. It still doesn't want to go in. There we go. Once you've got all of those tabs in nicely, the next part I like to do is the part with the feet, which is these two front corners. So you'll have your two second longest bolts. And just stand this up. Two second longest bolts. Bolt goes through and then you'll have these two little white washers. Pop them on next underneath your nest and then on with a white foot. It'll have a smooth side and a hollow side. Smooth side goes onto the bolt like so. Then take a normal nut and push it into the hole in the bottom of the foot. What you can then do is squeeze the rubber foot with your fingers, which holds the nut steady, stops it from twisting as you gently do up the bolt with a screwdriver. So we'll do that again. It's the second longest bolts down in this bottom corner. Two little white washers. Go on. White foot, flat side, first onto the bolt. Pop a nut into the hole. Squeeze the foot to hold the nut in place. And gently do up your bolt. that it's gripping. Need to do 
Oh yeah, it's done it. Great. Done. Now when you're tightening up your bolts, it's important not to over tighten them because it can crack the acrylic. So you just want to do it firm, but not tight. Now, next we're going to secure two little angles onto the face here. And these hold the face of your outworld nice and secure to your nest, just to make sure no one's escaping through any gaps. So we use the same bolts, the second smallest that we'll use for the remainder of the nest. Two long ones facing down, they go all the way through the nest. Secure with a nut. And then you'll use two of the shortest bolts to go back through the wall of the outworld. And that just holds it nice and tight. of those. Next we'll cover these expansion holes. These are useful if, you're, if your ants do outgrow this nest. You can simply connect another nest with a tube. So we use these little acrylic flaps, a short bolt and a nut just to cover these holes until you're ready to use them. There's one on each side. That on with a nut. Okay, that's the, the base of the nest done. We're going to do the lid next. You'll have a main lid piece. This just gently clips into the top of your nest in the grooves. It is quite a tight fit, so you might just gently manipulate it to get it in there. Nice and secure for your ants. And then we have a little smaller lid. Um, and this is very useful for feeding, feeding and cleaning time um, to help stop everyone escaping when you're trying to get in there. So we wanna take the larger of the acrylic lid pieces, place the mesh on top and sandwich it in between with the smaller piece, making sure there's no gaps. It can be a bit tricky to get it lined up. Once you have it lined up with no gaps, you want to put a short bolt upwards through the hole. So the head of the bolt is on the larger acrylic side. Secure it with a nut and the nut is on the smaller acrylic side or the inside. Put all four in. And then that's your lid complete. And that just sits over top like so. Once that's done, you can go ahead and put all the rest of the bolts through your nest and tighten them all up. Remember when you're tightening, not to over tighten. You don't wanna crack your acrylic. Um, just firm, not tight. And once that's done, your red shield will sit over top. Um, you need to get your red tabs lined up so they go through the grooves, which can be a bit tricky. Once you have that lined up, these clips, line them up there. And that will hold your shield in place. And there you have it. Thanks everyone.